Google just released a big update for its stock keyboard app. Let's take a look. The first big feature in this update is the addition of a new one-handed mode that you can access by tapping and holding the arrow key in the bottom right. This feature squeezes the keyboard a little bit, either to the left or the right side, and makes typing with the swipe gesture just a little bit easier with one hand. With version 5.0, you can also now move the cursor using a gesture. In this case, you just swipe left or right on the spacebar of the keyboard. Also in this update, Google has moved some things around on the number keypad and added some emoji suggestions above the numbers. You can also tap the little number icon in the bottom left of this keyboard to access another number keyboard, which allows even quicker entry of numbers and gives you quicker access to arithmetic symbols. If you head into the Keyboard Preferences section of the Settings app, you'll find a few new options like the ability to add a keyboarder, which adds a border to the keys on the keyboarder. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Rounding off the changes, there's now five different sizes for the keyboard height, ranging between short and tall. I think I prefer the shortest one the best, but I can see why you would need a different size keyboard depending on the size of your fingers or the size of your phone. Overall, 5.0 is a solid update that adds a lot of features that have kept people away from Google Keyboard in the past. A lot of this has been available through Swipe or SwiftKey or a lot of other third-party keyboards for a long time, but now if you prefer Google Stock apps, you might finally be able to make your way back to Google's first-party offering. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and be sure to head over to 9to5google.com to read more about this update and how to download it. Thanks for watching, this has been Stephen Hall with 9to5google.